Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be creating my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Makeup Look and this video has been inspired by the latest release from Chanel which is currently available in Asia. For the first time ever Chanel are releasing a Le Beige Winter Makeup Collection. As a lot of you probably know, the Chanel's Le Beige Makeup Collection was celebrating the summer glow, the healthy skin and this time they are releasing the same collection but for the winter time and the colors are a little bit more fresh, they are like... Um, they, the whole idea is to recreate this very healthy looking winter skin like you've just been outside in the snow so it's going to be a very healthy look and I'm going to be using my current favorites from Chanel mostly products from Chanel's Le Beige makeup collection to recreate this look. At the time when I'm filming the video the collection is available in Asia and it's soon going to be available in the US and after that probably after the in the new year probably in January it's going to launch in Europe as well. This is the information that I have and the collection looks very beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my base and in the meantime I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about the collection and what to expect and I'm going to share with you my thoughts and what I'm planning to purchase from this makeup collection because I never miss a Chanel makeup collection. Now for my base I'm choosing to use, I have, uh, I, have I think, all Chanel foundations, but for now uh, I'm going to be using the Numero 1 de Chanel foundation. I'm not going to choose the Le Beige Healthy Glow foundation because this is a water-based foundation and I think that it's mostly suitable for the summer months. Uh, usually products that contain water are mostly suitable for the summer months. This one is a little bit more nourishing for the winter time and that's why I'm choosing this one. I'm very excited for this launch from Chanel because I think that Chanel's Le Beige uh, Healthy Glow Makeup collection is one of the most loved and the most anticipated releases every year and I'm happy to see Chanel actually creating this same collection that celebrates the healthy winter skin. They're going to release a new Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Primer and this one is going to be in three different shades to match different skin tones and there is going to be frosty white, icy beige and light copper. I think that I'm going to go for the frosty white and icy beige. Then there's going to be a new Le Beige Healthy Glow Natural Palette in Cool. I remember that for the summer makeup collection Chanel didn't release a um, new eyeshadow palette for the Le Beige summer makeup collection and a lot of people were saying that they want to have a new Le Beige Healthy Glow eyeshadow palette. So there you have it, it has cool pinkish colors and then they're going to release also Le Beige Healthy Glow Winter Blushes and these are going to come in three different shades. Okay, and next I'm taking a small amount of Chanel's Loose Powder. I like to use this one in the shade 20 because it adds a little bit of color to my face. And for the best result I like to use this powder with a damp sponge and I like to press this into my skin. And this is how it helps me to get this more flawless complexion. Next I need a little bit of color and I'm not going to be using one of Chanel's uh, lip balms. I really like the Rouge Coco balms from Chanel. They are some of my favorites but this one has been a favorite of mine for the fall winter season and for any season actually this is one of my most repurchased Chanel lipsticks. Since it was launched it is uh, Rouge Coco Flash in 118 Freeze. It is perfect for this time of the year because it gives you this very healthy looking clips. For me this is one of my favorite colors when I want to have this really healthy looking winter glow. This one as well. This is from the Rouge Coco glosses and not many people talk about these but I really like them. The applicator is truly gorgeous. This is my favorite color and I'm going to make sure to uh, list below all of these products. So this one is truly gorgeous as well to give you this very healthy looking lips and it feels so comfortable right now this time of the year when it's cold outside and it protects the lips. And now we're moving on to eyes and for eyes I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorite Chanel eyeshadow palettes and this one is the Le Beige eyeshadow palette in Tender. This is one of my favorite Chanel eyeshadow palettes and as you can probably tell I almost have a dent in one of the colors. So this is what I'm going to be using today. And I have a video where I showed you how to lift your face naturally. So this is the technique that I'm using and that I'm going to be using in this video. So in case you're interested, 
head, he head over here. I'm going to link it here and also in the description box. I think that it's a very useful video and I got a very, very positive feedback from a lot of you. One of you even said that um, her colleagues said that she looked as if she had a facial, which made me so happy. I even pinned this comment. So thank you so much for the amazing feedback. My mirror is not very comfortable, but anyways. Next, I'm going to be using the deepest shade right in the very outer part of my eye. I'm going to apply this color also close to the lash line. Next, I'm going to be using the rosy shade with the sheen. This is not really shimmer. This one has tiny little shimmers, almost like snowflake glitters that shine in this beautiful pinkish colors. But this one is very smooth, very soft. You're going to see it now on my eyes. So I'm going to be applying this one all over my mobile eyelid and in the inner corner as well. Some very soft buttery. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes from Chanel. It's very easy. You can very easily create um, daytime looks, beautiful daytime looks, office friendly and also evening looks if you intensify the colors. If you intensify the colors also evening looks. I'm going to be using a little bit of the shimmery shade right in the middle of my eye. I always use this one with my fingers. I'm going to be adding a brownish coal eyeliner just along the lash line and I am massaging this one into the roots of the lashes but keeping it on the outer part of my eye because that's how I like it and also I'm going to place a little bit on my lower lash line. I want to make sure that everything is well blended and that's why I'm going to go over everything with a clean brush just to make sure that it's nice and blended. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply my favorite Le Volume de Chanel mascara. I'm going to add two coats of mascara just to be a little bit more extra this winter. And if you want to see my mascara application technique, I'm going to link it here. I usually use two coats of mascara. The second coat is only for the ends of the lashes. Now for blush, I'm going to be using one that is uh, used to be a limited edition. I think that it's still available though. So this one is a coral blush that I think is pretty similar to one of the new blushes that was released. So this one is going to give me this very healthy looking skin that I think the new Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Collection wants to create on the skin. This is exactly the effect that I'm going to achieve with this blush. Good that I have it. When I saw the new blushes, I immediately thought of this one, that it's going to be similar to the new ones. For highlighter, since I don't have the new Chanel bases, the illuminating bases, I'm going to be using one of my favorite products. This is the Bomb Essentiel, and it's the Rosy in Dragé. I'm going to be applying this one a little bit here, just lightly tapping it. And I'm not going to overdo the blush because I'm going to let the winter and the cold weather do its job. My cheeks are going to be naturally glowy. If you have oily skin or you just want to create this glow from within, then you can use this product under your foundation. That's how you're going to get this glow from within. It's not going to be as visible as it is on my face now. So if you want to make it more subtle, definitely try using it under your foundation. This is a multi-purpose product and can be used in different ways. Now I want my lipstick to be a little bit more long lasting and that's why as a final step, I'm going to use one lip liner from Chanel. This is one of my favorite favorite shades. I'm just going to go ahead and blot my lips. As you can see this removes the color, almost removes the color. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of lip liner on my lips. But I want to be very light-handed because this lip liner is much deeper than my lips. So I want to show it to you. This is like the most beautiful rosy brown color. It's perfect. I think that it's going to suit a lot of people. It will be much better on people who have deeper skin tone. Let's say light medium to medium skin tone it will be better. For me, 
I just need to be light-handed, apply a little bit and then smudge it because otherwise it looks too dark, but I really love it because it gives me that very sophisticated look. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite freeze. So this is what I would do when I want the Rouge Coco Balms to be more long lasting because they are almost like lip glosses. They are some of my favorite lipsticks just to carry in my purse, in my handbag, because I can always moisturize my lips with a hint of color. They are so beautiful. They are a dream come true for me, but also at the same time I have thin lips and they um, disappear quite quickly. So I always like to add a little bit of lip liner to make them more long lasting so that I don't have to worry to reapply. And then as a final step, I would like to share with you my fragrance ritual. I'm going to be using Coco Mademoiselle today. And this is one of my favorite perfumes because it's not too feminine. It's very suitable for the office. It's very suitable for day, for nighttime. And it's not the most feminine fragrance. It's very confident. It's very beautiful because it has this sweet citrus opening, but it has patchouli in the base. It has rose, jasmine. It is this floral fragrance, but it's not girly. It's not too feminine. So it's, um, I would say, strong and confident. This is one of the reasons why I love Coco Mademoiselle so much. It's an iconic scent. So I'm usually going to start with Coco Mademoiselle Le Privé. This is one of my favorite fragrances. It's a nighttime fragrance. So it's not supposed to be long lasting or too strong because you're supposed to use it at night before bed to help you feel a little bit better, feel a little bit more luxurious and sleep better. So that's why this is not going to be very long lasting, but I like to increase the longevity of this one. So this one has the signature DNA of Coco Mademoiselle, but instead of the patchouli note here, patchouli is replaced with white musk which makes the fragrance much lighter. And if you're someone who was always bothered by the patchouli note in Coco Mademoiselle, this is what makes uh, Coco Mademoiselle so signature. It gives a lot of character to Coco Mademoiselle, but this one is a lot softer. So what I like to do is right after I wash my hair, while my hair is still wet, I'm going to spray this generously all over my hair while it's still wet and also all over my body while my skin is still a little bit wet. This is how the fragrance is going to hold beautifully and it's literally going to hug you and it's going to stay with you much longer. So this is what I do. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Coco Mademoiselle Intense is my current, one of my current favorite fragrances that I use very often. So it has the signature DNA of Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum, but I find it to be a little bit softer and a little bit rounder because it has added tonka and vanilla. Again, it has the signature sweet citrus opening of Coco Mademoiselle. It has the rose, the jasmine, but at the same time, the tonka and the added vanilla just add a lot of softness to the fragrance. And then right after, before going out, I'm usually going to spray a few times the Coco Mademoiselle Hair Mist. I really love it because it helps to refresh the hair fragrance and it's truly a beautiful scent. It adds a little bit of shine, but you have to spray it from far away so that you can get the shine. It has some conditioning agents to the hair. And the whole idea of having a hair mist and hair perfume is that this one contains less alcohol compared to the Eau de Parfums and the Eau de, Eau de Toilettes. It contains less alcohol, so it's not going to be drying on the hair. But you can use the Le Privé as a hair perfume as well. But as I mentioned, this one holds best if it's applied on wet hair. So that was all for today's video. This was my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Look. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching my video. Until next time, bye.